But I think that game is where I tapped into my flow um, just to an extreme. I told this story before, like, my boy Dusty Hannes, before the game, I was like, we were warming up. And you know when some of the rims – like, yeah. shooters know if a rim's yeah. a shooter's rim or not, right? Yeah. So we were warming up that game, and I'm like, bro – these rims are different. Like, these are elite shooting rims. And he's like, yeah, bro, like, they're nice. <laughs> so th- I think that started, like, the tap in, like, okay, like, I feel like this ball is about to go in every time I shoot it, like, hula hoop. Um, and then the game started, bro, and I think I came out the gate, like, 15, sh- like, straight points. And I'm like, I didn't really think about it. Because, you know, if you think about flow, yeah. like, I'm instantly out of it if I start thinking about yeah. it. So I look up at halftime, I have 29, I'm like, Oh, this is crazy. Yeah. Um, I didn't have a 30 ball up until that point this year. So I'm like, oh, I mean, like, 30. My ego's like, oh, 30 is cool. Like, you've had a great game so yeah. far. But, like, inner, my inner me, like, my peaceful state is not even thinking about that. Because I think the more you think mm. about scoring, I think the harder it is. So, like, I really wasn't worried about the points. Um, like, my boy told me I looked possessed during the game. Like, he actually was like, bro, like, I didn't want to touch you, talk to you. Like, you look <laughs> like you're in a different state. And I'm like, bro, like, I felt like not possessed but you feel like you're in that flow where you're just literally out there just moving to mm-hmm. whatever's happening and the ball somehow finding me um so like i look up at in the game it said 58 i'm like holy crap i didn't even know i had that much bro like i i didn't think about it because if i think about it i know it's like okay like so i can't look at my stat sheet like during mm-hmm. the, i don't even look at stats i didn't even look at my stats all year bro like i'm weird oh, about that's, that that's cool like my my wife would be like oh like do you want to know this that i'm like no i i never want to know my stats i feel like yeah. numbers kind of like inhibit your mm. your mind like I don't know bro. I'm weird about that stuff I don't like knowing I just know what I what I'm doing in that game um or that season I know I know internally how I'm playing yeah I don't need to know the numbers I feel like numbers ruin everything so I mean that game was my deepest flow for sure bro like I think it was like 19 for 25 or 26 something like that but like I didn't even think about that yeah I was just out there playing so I think I hit the deepest flow I've ever hit this year so when you have an experience like that, it's almost, you know, like we talked about the next time you're like, oh, I want to force, it. I want to feel that right. again. So like what, you know, I think that getting in those experiences help build that motivation to tap yes. into it, but really to tap into it, you have to understand yourself more. So like after you experience that, what was your process to kind of, you know, let it go and, and also yeah, tap bro. back into it again? That's a great way to like letting it go. Like mm. you said, I mean, a lot of guys go from that high and then the next game they'll have like two points four points um like my ego like i said was like oh my god you got to go out there and kill the next game right like yeah but being aware of that Mm. now um that didn't bother me back then if Mm. i had a game like that i'd be like oh my god like all this pressure is on me next game to score like a lot everybody's looking at you now yeah but like bro like the next we played a game two days later and honestly i totally just Wash that game away like it was over. Like in the scout, like my coach would be like, you know, they're gonna key on. I'm like, nah, but like it's just a different. Game. It's yeah. another, it's a whole other game. And I mean, that next game had another great game, but I didn't even didn't even try, bro. Like you try, but it's like that inner confidence, right? Yeah. So I wasn't, I didn't feel any pressure to go out there and do something. I like a 58 ball again. Like I wasn't feeling any kind of pressure like that, bro. I was just dropping into my zone, and whatever happened was gonna happen, and. I was just gonna be present enough to give myself the best opportunity to play well. Yeah, bro. So like, I'm all I'm all for goal setting and having goals. Um, I necessarily don't have like a chart and have goals for the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like if I do that and I hit it, like you said, then what? So yeah. like, during the year, you know, like that game in particular, um, I feel like old me would have been like, okay, like oh, you've had a great game. Like let's not ruin the shooting percentages. Yeah. Like. Maybe I wouldn't know I was thinking that back then, but, like, yeah. that's probably what I was going to be mm. thinking. But I walked into the locker room like, Psh, like, whatever. I can go out 0 for 10 the next second half, but I'm still going to take the shots I was taking yeah. and drop into that flow. Um, I think it just goes with um, awareness of your thoughts, like we talked about, and just kind of letting it go. Um, like, no cap. I mean, don't don't give yourself a limit because when you hit that limit, it's like, oh, you, I think, like, internally you're like, oh, okay, like, I'm good for the day. Yeah. Like, yeah, okay, phew, I had a great game. Let's just let that one go. Like, no, I want not necessarily more, like, ego. Yeah. I don't want more, but, like, I know I got more in me. Mm. You know what I mean? So yeah. um, I think it's being aware of the thoughts and just not capping yourself.